Alrighty, well, it might have been a little bit longer than a week. I mean, what is 11 out of 10 stunt? But before we get this show back on the road, I'd just like to thank everybody for heading on over to the store at ziptiesandbuyspod.com and buying shirts and whatnot. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. And for all you minty pricks that came over to the Patreon, Doc Johnson can give a thumbs up. He would. The old prosthetic arm here. Can't really do a whole lot, but he's trying. Well, back at her. Enjoy. Oh, and believe it or not, for the next video, we're actually going to need dead batteries instead of good batteries. I promise. It'll be a gooder. She's off and she's still excited. <laughs> That's fine. Is that fine, Willard? That's fine. Oh, yeah. I'm no stranger to propane. Alrighty. Well, after giving the old workbench the old clearance stick. Help me clear the stuff off the car and we'll get Julian. Glad I have my helmet on. We're back into the hard fiddle. Anyhow, what we're gonna do today is since the fuel system should be bled now. So the fuel system should be mint, should be bled. So if all the glow plugs are functioning like they should, which we're gonna check, if they're all functioning as they should, this pile of shit should start without any glow plugs and it shouldn't take four hours to start. Check out this fucking Princess Auto over the top creeper. Check that the I've always seen these in shops and I've always wanted one. Princess Auto had this on sale about a while ago. Check this out. Man, you just lay right over the top and fiddle and you don't have to worry about the front porch on it. What a treat. A lot of these were already unhooked so I don't think we were getting full glow plug action. That's the last time I uh I do the old uh heavy painkillers and and uh liquor and the wrench at the same time. Why you always lying? It's all right so now we should have no spark. No spark. All right so we got this guy hooked up. Let's just see if we got some sparkage. We got no sparkage there. Do we already have a dead glow plug? Probably, because parts nowadays are garbage. That glow plug's already dead. For creek, everything's junk nowadays. Let's try the next one back. It'd be a lot easier if this thing didn't have glow plugs. Like what the fuck? Can Cosby sauce is way easier. Let's just see here, meow, ready? No spark either. What the fuck? It is not drawing anything. Those two glow plugs are already dead. Let's see what happens here. That's hooked up, power. That is drawing nothing as well. What in this sweet fiddler's Let's try this guy out. There's power going there. Oh, that one's still good. That one's sparking. So we're good there. Oh, this wire got real hot. Let's see the next guy. That guy's drawing power, so that's good. Oh, this wire gets right hot right quick. You don't need to worry about burn in the wire. It's just be an external glow plug. Let's we'll put it over the intake. When it, when it glows red, just fire right up. Let's right, see what happens here. That one's dead. So these were definitely on sale glow plugs that I bought. I mean, you're not going to buy the good stuff because I'm I like struggling. So all the glow plugs are and these two are the only ones that are good. So we'll pull the glow plugs out of it and see if we can't scrounge up some better ones. Alrighty meow, so I had an old 7.3 IDI out of my wheelie and garbage truck that I had laying in the sea can. So I went and tested all our glow plugs out and grabbed the ones that were still working. Alright, we got five brand used glow plugs going in the Slave Lake. I'm thinking that, uh, well, you know, accountability being a thing of the past. The glow plugs having no ends on them that pulled out of Slave Lake, that I just put in Slave Lake, have nothing to do with the fact that I was drunk and high and I might have uh, let them run for way too long while I was trying to get the fuel to, to bleed. And The public system didn't do that. The government didn't do that. And the church didn't do that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's your fault. Not my fault. 2024, no accountability. Hashtag libtard logic. All right, so what's happened is the end of the, uh, one of the glow plugs has exploded because I'm stunned and I probably let them run for too long. And the end of it's stuck in the hole. These are my three options. Pull the head and do everything properly. Nope, 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 nope. Try to fish that out of there with a punch or something, but then it, you know, runs the risk of dropping in there like all the other ones did. Or I can just crank it over and see if it fires itself out after she gets a compression stroke. That's a really good idea. Good night, man. So you guys let me know what the f I see in there, if that thing pops out of there or not. Oh, just so everybody knows, I wasn't high and drunk as f all right? I was pharmaceutically enhanced. You got that right. <laughs> Now, is that the sound of piston on head with glow plug in between the contacts? Yup! I don't know. But it definitely kicked out all the other glow plugs that didn't need to be in there. 
Did it kick that one out? It's probably not good. There's another one that's got a gammed in there. What's this guy like? Well, that one's good. So we got two exploded glow plugs into holes. <sighs> Slave Lake will be fine. You don't need to worry about exploded glow plugs in the holes. So we're going to go ahead and crank it a little bit more and see what happens. All right, you know what? We'll get it running on Cosby sauce and hopefully that'll just blow them out of there. Key on. Zero fucks. Let's do her. I think it blew out. I heard a pop. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, so what I'm trying to do here right now is basically just beat the tip of the glow plug so the cylinder can eat it, embed it into the piston, slam it into the head, or, you know, low and beer hold, fire it out the exhaust valve. Slave Lake can handle a little bit of metal through the system. She's good. Turn this back on, bump her over, should fire right up. It keeps plugging the hole off. I've never seen this before. This is some hillbilly s***. I've done some f***ing hillbilly ranching in my day, but I think that f***ing tops it. What the f***? Trying to knock a chunk of f***ing carbon down into the cylinder, or whatever that f***ing is. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's some kind of f***ing graphite or whatever. Down into the cylinder while she's running so you can get the new glow plug in. I mean, that that's just proper f***ing wrenching right there. That's how you know you're doing it right. That'll be fine. It loves that f***. Did Slave Lake just have to ingest some of her own components to f***ing keep living? I mean, that's the way she goes. That's what happened to my leg. All these guys on the internet saying, oh, Pag is going to blow it up. No, it'll be just fine. I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Admit, you don't need to worry about exploded glow plugs. I want to know what your feller's thoughts are on this. I had to replace one of these uh, glow plug connectors what, for uh, it being ripped right off. But uh, I want to know what your guys' thought was on this. Did Slave Lake single-handedly change the resale value of 7.3 IDIs? Because I've had a lot of people say it has. They say how loyal and reliable they are. Well, they're definitely loyal, definitely reliable. But they're definitely giant piles of shit. And that's why I love them. Let's see what happens meow with all that metal in the hole. These tones. Just dark, ominous tones.
Are we dealing with the piston to head contact? So she's running tip top. Well, the glow plugs are back in it, kinda. Well, they're really inside the piston right now. We got some work need doing around here, that's, and only Slave Lake can get her done. But we acquired some new parts from my buddy AJ. He hooked the feller up, so let's go get him. I don't know why this fifth wheel was in a metal bin, because it is like brand new. I don't, does it function? Oh yeah, I think it's mint. I don't understand why a lot of these outfits around here have got more money than brains, and there's always good in the trash cans. Long story short, we're gonna stick this on the back. I mean, she's already got big rig rails on her. We might have to weld in a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but I mean, Slave Lake got a fifth wheel meow. That'd be mint. It's a little more toll rated than this riggins that we put on. Look at the undercut. Like, holy sweet fiddlers. So you might also be asking, you're like, hey, cripple, why in a sweet fiddlers? The slave leg need a fifth wheel on it. I mean, I'm gonna go hook up to my camper. We're going for a rip down the river. Way she goes. I'm totally not towing anything that slave leg shouldn't be towing. I mean, I only go by weight ratings around here, except for when it comes with women. I mean, remember we talked about this last video? Is it operating heavy equipment? Is she's a lady over 380? Or is it Pegs might not be 12 inches, but it sure smells like a foot. I mean, who knows? 47 or 48 inches the out of that. And then we'll just snip that off right there. China. 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 Oh yeah, if you, if you guys want to blame anybody for the old China China saw being in the shop, you can thank my cousin over at Spruce Stomper. China. Minty guy, but he's uh, he got me into the old soup mixes. He was $160 Amazon saw. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Alrighty, we'll stick her up on there. Let's see how she looks. Oh yeah, it's gonna look mint on there. Push it forward a wee bit. Oh, who would have thought it was really heavy? Oh, yeah, mint. Oh, it's gonna look badass as Well, that guy's kinda there, and that guy's kinda there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna eyeball the out of it. That's what's gonna happen. All right, so, now we'll have to weld right through all the wood and but that'll be fine. Well, instead of doing any proper welding or uh, cleaning up any of the weld before I welded them, I just decided to do lots of it. And since uh, I have a history of alcoholism, maybe, I didn't really trust any of my welds that I had before. So I welded the welds to the welds to the welds to the welds. And apparently this thing's name is Cash S. But, you know, everybody always asks me, they'll say, hey, Peg, how do you make the bottom welds look as good as the top ones? Well, I just 
Uh, both of them really bad. That's fine. Mint. All right, so we got that thing welded on there, right? There's a lot of ways you can test this thing. You know, you can go down and get it all x-rayed and just that. And it'll free. Or what you can do is... onto this giant fucking steel trailer that's been sitting here since I got this piece of dirt. Look at this thing. Well, I hauled it here on the back of an old Ferd and uh, I'm hauling it out of here on the back of an old Ferd. I mean, if a cripple's gonna give her, he's gotta give her all the way. You don't need to worry about fucking leaf spring load ratings. It has definitely sunk into the ground about a foot. It's in the ground, all of it. We're gonna lift her up on both sides. Hopefully this thing will lift. It's heavy as so we're gonna lift the thing up, back old Slave Lake in there. I mean, why would you use a Texas bed truck, to which that's exactly what they're designed for, to do something like this, when you can use your greasy old pickup truck. And look at how heavy this is. It's just mashing wooden blocks. Usually dynage doesn't mash like that, but in this case it does. I said it was heavy, I wasn't lying. Holy We got weight lifted off on both sides. Now let's go grab the centerpiece for this dirty old boot. Find that better myself. What a treat! Already. Well, we'll get this back out of the way. Lower it down, nice and gentle, like. Look at that piece of white dog. All right, so we're gonna use the track loader to push this giant piece out of the hole she sunk in. But I mean. The Lord hates a guy who doesn't try. I mean, she's got to try to pull it out from under here and at least try to scatter one U-joint. All right, we'll lock the hub then. Well, she's been here a while, long enough that it sank in the ground a solid foot. Just liquor cans everywhere, paint sprayers, all the All right, well, let's go take her for a rip. Ah, it reminds me of old times. Oh, wheelie, yeah! It definitely wants to kind of wheelie, so we gotta let her do a thing. I can do better than that!
That might be a problem. Wheelie's mint! What a treat! Alrighty, well, she wheelies like a mother But the real test is, can she make us as a dumping back? Hit up the dump, see what's good. There might be Christmas presents here. We'll throw out some of this junk that we got in the back and we're good to go. Mint. Oh, my buddy there, Wade. Here you go, buddy. Here's a new bead breaker for you. Now I got this bar. Yeah, Peg told me this breaker bar was here. I got that. Yeah, baby. There you go, bud. We'll throw a little bit of this up and we'll go to home. Oh. You know what, though, there's a camp stove in here. I'm keeping this thing. Sorry. This dirty old camp stove. I used to get drunk as and eat bacon off this. How you doing, buddy? We got old Slave Lake running. I was just saying, I, I left the bead breaker there for you. It looks like Peg's truck. Yeah, and that water pump's still good. That's good stuff. Yeah, show no, this guy I was gonna grab all the brake rotors and the TV axles and Oh, I, well, it's okay, I don't care. Well, I watch your videos. Thing. I watch your videos, I'm, and then I'm like, oh, he doesn't want you this. So I plow it up. No, yeah, I know. I started thinking about it. I'm like, man, those guys think I'm a guard. No, that's the guy. Good. Oh, you got this? Are you with the guard, the dump channel? Yeah. I yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, one man's trash. One man's trash. What's over here? Hey, yeah. It's a man's the dump collaboration. Man, all right, Wade, I'll see you around, buddy. I'll see you later, Pat. Jake's steering the old.
That'll do. Admit. She's a little toasty. But other than that, she's fine. So she really got that head gasket that starts to tickle at stuff once the methanol water injection starts to spray her down her throat hole. But other than that, she's mint. All right, let's see if old Slave Lake fires back up. We, we fed her a good hot supper. Uh, let's see here. Oh, like nothing. You don't have bad luck. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. So we bagged the slave lake, fiddle around, hauled the trailer, everything did better than good. But meow, what we gotta do is uh, now it's been sitting overnight, she's about uh, 30 degrees freedom units outside. So meow, now it's got new glow plugs in it. Now's the time to see if the glow plugs work enough, see if it'll actually start without Cosby sauce. Alrighty, so anybody that's ever owned a 7.3 IDI or 7.3 Power Smoke, the problem with the pieces of is the weight to start light is pretty much about as useless as the toenails on my rubber foot. They're junk. So what I'm going to do this morning is fiddle this thing on there to make it so it's actually telling you what the is going on with the glow plug. Alrighty, so uh, Slave Lake was gave her all the way. But being that she's been out here, she's got all her fuel bled through. It should fire back up without any Cosby sauce if things don't get addicted to the Cosby sauce. But if it doesn't fire up at all and cranks for forever, well, I guess I'm Done. So meow, what's gonna happen is when the glow plugs are cycling, we'll see her from the interior if, if I can. Well, we gotta start from out here anyway because the glow plugs are just a wire, but watch. We'll hook up this thing to here and it's gonna let us know exactly how long we need to run the glow plugs for. So we stick this here, this into here, and you see it's starting to smoke. So once she starts to glow red, see? Uh, so it's glowing red. So then it will be time to run the run the starter. So that's the new glow plug lights. I mean, I'll hook it right into the glow plugs too. So she's gonna be right in line with all the other plugs. So it's gonna identify as doing something. All right, so meow, this is the glow plug wire, right? This is hooked right to the glow plugs. So now we'll run the glow plugs. Ow, that's a lot of current. <laughs> run the glow plugs. That thing should start glowing red. Yeah, boom, then it would time to start. So there, now we know for a fact that the what's in there for glow plugs are actually working. So let's see what the happens. Keys on, full throttle. Injection pump is on, hook the glow plugs up. <laughs> Wait for the light to come on. Old Letterman. All right, so that glow plug's glowing red, so it should fire up. Alrighty, so this has been the only pickup truck that I've ever had to use the old Jake steer technique to get her to move over. And a lot of you youngins might not know what Jake steer is. Well, a Jake brake on a big truck, when you're steering and you got all three axles locked in, she's trying to steer the thing will just want to walk straight. So what you do is you rev it up and then you jake. And when the ass hit, or the front end comes down, the front tires dig in and you're able to steer. Well, that's what you have to do with old Slave Lake here. You gotta, you gotta Jake steer the of it. If this was an unintended consequence of trying to wheelie it, I wanted to have a hitch on it because you don't know, go to the neighbor's house to trade her on or whatever the case may be. But it really seems like this thing is impeding it from doing an even mintier wheelie. So we're going to do the same thing that the doctor did with my leg and give it a delete. 
Well, the wheelie bar had been disengaged already. So it was in this exact spot, I don't know how many years ago, when my boy was around. So uh, if you've been over to the old Slave Lake playlist on the old Patreon, you'd see that uh, I said, uh, woman, I love you. Boy, I love you. Well, same situation today. And this is probably one of them situations where a guy dies because he's dumb and he's doing wheelies in his one ton Ford, but you know, you have to wheelie it. I don't know how she's gonna go. I don't know if Slave Lake can wheelie over backwards or I'm gonna hit the old lady's expedition with the old uh, part numbers but we're gonna give her all the way and see what the f happens Look around and find out engage do you guys want me to put my seatbelt on for safety i'll put a safety knot in it hey you had a nice safety knot come on slave lake Oh, did it smash the window in the crew cab? Is that, is that a new one? I don't yeah, know, maybe. It, it oh, it mean, did. That's fresh. Okay. That's awesome. I knew it broke a window. I could hear a window break. <laughs> Man, those yolks are the worst. They're always exploding. But I'll just put another one in. Well, I got piles. Little... All right, you want to lock in my hubs? Let's see if we can get her close to the shop. Well, let's see if she has enough oomph to make her up to the shop. Closer. That's definitely closer. All right, so I went through my empire of shit and I found another yoke. This is out of that garbage truck that I wheelied the f out of. But, I mean, it had an auto tragic in it, but it never blew the yoke. So we got that guy, and it's got the drilled straight through yoke on the thing, so it hopefully it's a little bit stronger. Hopefully, you know, wishing one hand, the other hand, see which one fills that first kind of deal. So this is the drive shaft out of slave lake so you can see the kicking horse high porosity welds that are holding the u-joint in there from before but when she come apart she beat the living snot out of the end of the uh out of the end of the yoke here so all the feathers got to do is just cut this thing off weld another yoke on here out of one of the giant pile of shafts they got laying around and uh we'll be good to go Alrighty. so what we did ground the weld away here cut the end off the shaft and the uh so i went to dd recyclers and they hooked my fat ass up with some hangle iron. I'm gonna weld this hangle iron on the side, and what that's gonna do is give it more I'm sorry, you guys. So what we're doing is we're phasing the U-joints or the, the yoke. So you want this guy right on here, like so, and then this is your other side. So you'll just take this, tap that in the hole so she's phased in and good to go. And then just tap her all the way home until she's on the basement and weld the solid. Alrighty, so to the magic of some uh, welding i mean that looks like an instagram weld to me and uh, a brand new u-joint so we went with the snap tight spicer that i found in the bin that was probably found in the back of some old ford and now for an upgrade we got the uh the through strap with the nuts on it and that'll go in there and hopefully that holds together better than the last pile of shit did but before we go and put it in there we got to paint it i mean we don't want this thing rusting and me and my buddy kevin were on amazon the other day and they had this minty paint shaker set up doc johnson she's got this there we go oh yeah Oh, that's mixing up nice. Oh, that shake job was 
Man, grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. We got the U-joint bolted back in there, the oaks back in there for like the 18th million time. So let's see if she'll pull out of her hole here. Oh yeah. All right, let's do her again. Seatbelt on for this one. It's gonna be good. But we're going, we don't need roads. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious. Build the engine now. Oh, oh, so I sprayed ether into this thing eight million gabillion times, and it starts just fine without it. That's weird. Alrighty, let's back this hoover into spot. Come on, girl, let's get a load off your back. I can feel the trainer pushing the back of the cabin. Get it right in the bush line. That'll be mint, buddy. Want me, want me grab the backhoe and just get away? Oh, sure. yeah, yeah. This is unbelievable. Big parameters. What are you doing? This is wrong. No way do they come in here to cut these trees. Absolutely not. Go f yourself.
Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Ready, ball there? Yeah. Like a glove. Yeah, I can't okay. glove. Nailed it. Does it look good or what? Yeah. That was Perfect. awesome. Wiggle it in there, man. Who the f all these trees over? Oh, man. That was man. If you stand on one leg, it looks fine to me. All right, let's fifth wheel off. Oh, yeah. I can't believe how mint that fifth wheel is. All right, let's dial her in. Try pulling her out. I don't usually do that. Okay, I gotta clear that metal bar. You gotta idle her up and lift her up. Don't drop it on me, big daddy. Oh. Are you wheeling it a bit? <laughs> nice save, bud. You front wheeling? I'm well, starting going down a little bit. Well, now you the question like is, do we help it with the backhoe? If she sat on the back of the thing, it would have stayed. Her? Yeah. I've snorted lines that were bigger I know. than her. I can vouch for that. Yeah. Like, literally, it, it literally, you got over there and it slowly just started to <laughs> That's all she was. I mean, I mean, why do things right when you can do things mint? safety. How much do you trust these hydraulic lines? There's trees everywhere, Matt. What are you doing under there? <laughs> I feel like we're passing a hand grenade back and forth. <laughs> Some idiot put all these trees in the way. Alrighty, Slave Lake. Job well done, sweetheart. Job well done. What a f***ing treat. You don't need to worry about being a derelict welder. You know what derelict welding. This is definitely broken off. That's fine. Willard, I got a question for you. You'll never guess what it is. Are you f***ing stunned, bud? Willard, dog, you stunned? Alrighty. Well, I'd be lying to you if I told you you minty f***ing pricks that uh, wasn't getting a little, uh, little, you know, a little dirt in my eye. Getting old Slave Lake running again and going and trashing on her. I mean, it reminded me of good old days. Can't believe I've had this minty old pile of fur for oh it's got to be uh, about 10 years well i don't know i've had it on and off for the last 15 years so i love this thing it's mint and it just won't die i was in pretty hard disbelief when she fired up and ran as good as she did and not only that i was in more disbelief that i didn't cause any engine damage when uh you know a guy takes a chisel and starts chiseling engine parts down inside of it so it'll eat it so you don't have to worry about it oh, just check out that mint seat cover give it the old ford ass chief all right well this production is already longer than withered is stunned but my did i ever have a good time making this video old slave lake she's minty she's got batteries she's got glow plugs i mean i'm never going to use those i'm going to spray the sauce but she's back on on the road and she's uh minty as i'll be able to use her around the yard and fiddle around with it i mean the, the chains are mint all the u-joints are good again i mean i haven't checked any oils but i mean that's fine but i am pretty pumped that she's mint so it, it's gonna be a good runner and uh, i'll be able to use her for a lot more out here the heat doesn't work for though it's got one window left one one window that hasn't been turned into hillbilly diamonds yet i mean the door windows might still be good but i don't know where those are well here comes johnny with his pecker in his hand he's a one ball man and he's off to the rodeo come sit beside dad yes in slave lake you like this truck Think, did Daddy get the slave leg on a mint? Yes. Did I wheelie it? Yes. Did I go to the dump? Mm -hmm. How dare you say that? How dare you? <laughs> Is Willard stunned? Yes. How stunned? Old. Yeah, old. Alrighty. Well, this bitch is long. 
real long. I usually do a read off of all the minty pricks that are keeping this boat afloat, but this video is long as hell already, and I want to get her uploaded. So she's Thursday night, and uh, I want to go into town and get her uploaded for you minty pricks. But all you Patreons, man, I really appreciate you guys. All the guys that have been sticking around, all the guys that have been giving me raises, and all the new guys. You guys are mint. Thank you guys very much. Usually I express my gratitude with a little more colorful language, but uh, we got a crazy man sitting beside me here. But you guys, mint. You want to tell them to keep pooping out their pipe? Yes. You tell them. You guys keep pooping out your pipe. Good job. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. Mint. Oh yeah, and before I go, just want to show you guys, just when you think Slave Lake couldn't get any more mintier, she's American. This thing's built in America, and she's still in miles per hour. America. Right, Stink? Yeah. America. I think it says right here. America. Oh yeah, and it's winter again here. Stunned.